Welcome to Laguna Beach. Since the early 1900s, Laguna has been a hub for arts and culture. It's home to countless art galleries and popular art festivals, such as the Sawdust and the Art Affair, as well as the Festival of the Arts and Pageant of the Masters. Laguna is also a prime destination for vacationers and tourists, thanks to beautiful sandy beaches, rocky cliffs, and tide pools. Its pristine ocean is home to a diverse population of marine life. For decades, the city and community of Laguna Beach have been dedicated to the conservation of our natural environment, on land and sea. In the early 2000s, a small group of locals banded together and produced a study that looked at Laguna's future. The beaches and marine life had begun to show signs of stress from increased vegetation, urban runoff, and changes from other ocean factors. The natural kelp forests, which play a vital role in the ocean's health, were thinning. Many fish and other creatures that once thrived in our waters became scarce. The abundant life once seen in the tide pools had become harder to find. The report identified the importance of the coastal and ocean ecosystems and promoted new programs to restore the health of our beaches and waters. The marine protected areas of Laguna Beach were expanded as part of the state of California's newly enacted Marine Life Protection Act. Other protections for our local marine systems were added, prohibiting fishing in close to shore waters, as well as the taking of any animals, shells, or rocks from the tide pools. The Act also provides for the enforcement of these new regulations, as well as educational outreach. The nonprofit Laguna Ocean Foundation was founded in 2003 with the express purpose of providing education and restoring our coastal areas to optimal health. To help beachgoers realize the delicacy of the marine ecosystems and engage in its protection, the Foundation established the Tidewater Docent Program. This all-volunteer program provides a learning environment at several Laguna Beach tide pool areas. Most people want to help protect these marine habitats, especially when they learn of the importance of these fragile wildlife areas. Stepping carefully out onto the rocks and tide pools, you'll find a variety of interesting creatures, like the sea star, often misnamed starfish. There are about 1,500 species of these invertebrates that occur around the world, from intertidal zones to the deepest oceans. Another invertebrate that you'll see is the sea anemone. These unusual creatures have small, colorful tentacles and look like flowers in full bloom. Careful where you step! Sea urchins are covered in stiff spikes and are very painful to step on. They're usually bright purple or red, so they're easy to spot. You'll also see a variety of small fish, like the baby opali, which have bright blue eyes and two distinguishing light spots on each side of their backs. Opali live in the tide pools until they grow large enough to swim out to open water. Tide pool sculpin are often well hidden because they dwell at the bottom of the tide pools. The sculpin can even anchor itself to the rocks in fast-flowing water. Now, if you put on your mask, snorkel, and fins and move out beyond the tide pools, you'll find another rich and fascinating world. In shallow water around the rocks, you'll find a huge variety of fish, crustaceans, and invertebrates. The bright orange Garibaldi is the easiest to spot and can sometimes be seen aggressively defending its nest area when eggs are present. The Garibaldi is also known for being the California state fish. Look into the cracks in the rocks, and you just might see a California spiny lobster. These brownish-red lobsters grow to about 12 inches long and have two large spiny antenna, but no claws. Now, if you're lucky, you might see the elusive and unusual octopus. Of all the marine invertebrates, the octopus is known to be the most intelligent. You also might see an abalone out in the shallow waters, until recently, abalones were close to extinction in California, but are slowly beginning to return. Everywhere you look, there will be long stalks of kelp. Kelp is an algae that's key to the health of the ocean environment. It's highly nutritious and is eaten as a sea vegetable in many parts of the world. In the deeper tide pools or in the ocean on the rocks, you'll find sea hares. These animals are usually about the size of a small guinea pig, 
but some species can grow as big as a medium-sized dog. And this is just a sampling of the diverse marine life found along our coast. Let's hear now from a tide pool docent down at the water's edge. Welcome to Laguna Beach Tide Pools. Laguna Beach has seven miles of rich, rocky coastline filled with marine life. There are a few guidelines we want to follow when we're out here visiting the tide pools. One of the guidelines is never remove the animals, shells, or rocks from the tide pools. Never pick up the animals, observe them where they are. We really encourage people to walk gently around the rocks and refrain from walking onto the fauna or the flora. And never turn over the rocks because there could be animals living underneath it. You can help by following the tide pool protocols and respecting the animals that live there. You can also become a volunteer docent or make a donation at lagunaoceanfoundation.org, which will help the foundation and their mission, which is to protect our beaches and ocean. Thank you.